now from the makers of cold water Irma. Mrs. Peel stood in her office at Cypher headquarters, her hand still on the telephone that rested in its cradle. She stared ahead of her, totally ignoring Ferret, who'd burst into the room. Uh, Mrs. Peel? M Mrs. Peel, are you all right? Mrs. Peel? Mrs. Peel didn't move or even look at him. Mrs. Peel? What happened? A wet window cleaner's leather dropped over Ferret's face. He struggled for air, but the leather tightened into a shiny brown mask, stretching tighter and tighter, suffocating him. He stopped struggling eventually and sagged to the floor, dead. Mrs. Peel still stood, frozen and expressionless, looking down at the body. The Avengers. John Steed and Emma Peel, The Avengers. Coldwater Omo has really powerful cleaning action. Mrs. Senior discovered this. My husband wears overalls to work, and they come back very sort of greasy and dirty. My girl actually does them by hand in the tub, but she uses cold water Omo, and they're fine, and they come up perfectly clean. They say once an Omo user, always an Omo user? I've stuck to cold water Omo, and I'm still using it. It's the strongest washing powder I've used. Cold water Omo cleans best. Beautiful Jill St. John knows the value of the creamy, moisturizing lather of Lux. Choose Lux to keep your skin soft and smooth. Lux, a beauty treatment as you bathe. Episode 5 of this story, in which John Steed gets back into the attack, and Emma Peel is completely confused by the activities that lead up to... The Super Secret Cypher Snatch. Mother had been alerted by John Steed that there would be more trouble down at the Cypher headquarters. He'd got hold of Ferret from MI-12 and sent him down there at top speed. Ferret had arrived to find the whole place as silent as a grave as though time was standing still. Then he'd been viciously attacked and suffocated. Mother waited impatiently for news, and John Steed, in his wrecked car, just hoped he'd got the call through in time. Forlorn hope, Steed. Uh, let's just try once again. Steed lifted the car telephone. Operator, try that Lessington Cipher HQ for me again, please. I'm sorry, caller. There's no reply from the number. There must be. There are hundreds of people working in that building. We've been trying to raise them. Folks are examining. The security line? Here I see. Thank you. Something wrong. Something very wrong. And how the devil do I get out of this? Steed looked down at the wreck of his car. He moved round to where the steel ladder stuck through the windscreen. Well, we can get rid of all this to start with. Steed cleared the windscreen of the rest of the glass and threw the steel ladder into the nearest ditch. Ah, now, let's see if we can get going. Right. Time four o'clock. Just got an hour. Here we go. Outside the entrance to the cipher headquarters, the guard yawned behind his hands and surreptitiously glanced at his watch. It was almost five o'clock, but inside the building, the place was still alive with activity. How's it going, Miss Peel? Oh, fine. Just fine, thank you, Mr. Murray. Nothing to it. Got a light? I really must try to remember where I put my lighter. You're always borrowing matches from me. Why are you... Only... What is it? What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Just something teasing the back of my memory. It's strange. I've got a hundred percent recall out of my training. I never... Your training? You mean as a shorthand typist or a confidential secretary? I mean as a... 
Oh, never mind. Mrs. Peel, have you found that Q file yet? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Webster. Yes, I have it here. I must just have forgotten to bring it in through to you. Mm. Well, uh, perhaps, uh, what's the time? It's almost five. Oh, so it is. How the afternoon's flown. Well, there's no time to deal with it now. Better put it back in security and let me have it first thing in the morning. Yes, Mr. Webster. I'll do just that. Mrs. Peel looked at Murray, who opened the cabinet for her, and then she turned to her desk. Suddenly she stopped and looked down at the carpet, at the spot where Ferret's body had fallen. Again, a, a worried frown wrinkled her forehead. Total recall. Can't be. I can't forget things. I can't. It's impossible. <laughs> When Mrs. Peel left the building that afternoon, she found John Steed parked in his car under the trees across the road. She walked briskly over to him and immediately noticed the windscreen. Instant air conditioning? You all right, Steed? Just about. How did it happen? With the compliments of classy glass, the people who really care about windows. The steel ladders can make very effective long-range weapons. I see. So they are involved. Well, very much so. I rather expected you to tell me. Weren't they here this afternoon? Classy glass cleaners? Oh, why should they be? That's funny. I, I couldn't have got it wrong. What time did Ferret leave? Ferret? Well, he's been here most of the afternoon. After my accident, I, I phoned Mother and told him to send Ferret down here at once. I mean, knowing Mother, it would be done, and knowing Ferret, he would have obeyed Mother. Well, he hasn't been near us. It's been a perfectly ordinary, perfectly boring day. If Mr. Ferret's been in the building, I would have seen him. I'm sure of that. You're certain? Well, if you don't believe me, phone him and check. I have. He isn't back yet. Hmm. No ferrets, no window cleaners. None whatsoever. Anyway, they'd hardly clean windows when it's raining most of the day. Raining? It hasn't rained where I've been. Look, my umbrella's still folded, not used, and... Steed reached up and hooked the handle of his umbrella round the branch of a tree. He pulled it to and fro energetically. No raindrops on these trees. Try the bone. No rain. But that's ridiculous. Well, I'm sure it was raining earlier. It did, Steed. And if it didn't? Well, come on, I'll buy you dinner, and then later we'll go to work. Where? Three guesses. Three? Classy one, glass two, cleaning three. Glasses in one. Come on. The fenced yard at the back of Classy Glass Cleaning housed about half a dozen vehicles. When Steed and Mrs. Peel arrived at the yard, it was quite dark. Steed slipped his umbrella over the fence, catching the latch and pulling it to release the lock. Hmm. There's plenty of trucks. I suppose it could be a perfectly harmless company. Not on your life. I wondered. A steel ladder soon convinced me I was wrong. A very lethal line in ladders. Now, you take that side, Mrs. Peel, I'll take this. Mm -hmm. What is it? Found something? In this van, look. Open the door a bit further. Look there on the floor. It was the body of Ferret. The cleaning leather still stretched across his face. Steed removed it gently. <clears throat> One of the tricks of the trade, eh? I told you he wasn't at Cypher HQ. Oh, that's what they said about Jarrett, wasn't it? Shh, someone's coming. Down. Time to take him home, I reckon. Anything special? Well, pop him in a bath, I reckon. Could look like an accident. Right. How about tomorrow? Still on? <laughs> of course it is. Tomorrow's yesterday again, if you get my meaning. <laughs> Open the gate. Steed and Mrs. Peel crouched back in the shadows as Maskin backed the truck with Ferret's body in it out of the yard. But what does it mean? Steed, I swear they couldn't have been at the HQ. I was watching those files all day and nothing happened. Except that it rained. Yeah. And I... I forgot the cue file. Hmm? What's that? Oh, nothing. But I've got the strangest feeling as though... as though today didn't happen at all. Well, then tomorrow will make certain. Every 30 minutes you phone me, no matter what. And if I stop phoning you? Out of there, post haste. And I'll make sure I don't walk under any ladders. <laughs> morning, Mrs. Peel reported for duty at the Cypher HQ. Good morning, Mr. Webster. Uh, do you want the Q file? Oh, yes. Must get on with it today. 
Oh, but first, uh, first, may I have your attention, please, everyone in this apartment? May I have your attention, please? I think I should tell you all now that the output from the cipher and decoding departments has deteriorated remarkably over the last week. While I realize that the work is demanding and accuracy is vital, there is no excuse for the lack of effort. I trust you will all do what you can to rectify this situation without delay. That's all. I don't know why he's so upset. Everyone's working the same as always. Mr. Murray, did it rain yesterday? Yes, yes, of course it did. And the day before? Miserable. What's that got to do with it? Just a thought. Hello, Steve. Your cast. How's the weather, Mrs. Peel? Changeable. Splendid. Keep in touch. By the way, it might be worth having another look at those photographs. Any particular reason? According to Webster, nothing gets done here anymore. Well, in that case, Mrs. Peel, we mustn't waste time in idle chatter. Back to the wheel, eh? Just keep in touch. Bye. Mrs. Peel did. At ten o'clock, she phoned Steve. Ten o'clock? All's well. Any faces at the window? Not at the moment. Personal calls are not encouraged, Mrs. Peel. Do you mind? Oh, sorry, Mr. Webster. Face at the office door. Bye, Steve. <laughs> There were no ladders placed against the wall of the building that morning, but out along a country highway, the van of classy glass cleaners stopped, and Vickers and Maskin took down a steel ladder and propped it up against a telephone pole. A few other men watched as Vickers climbed the ladder and made some adjustments to the wiring. Then he yelled down. OK, the line's blocked. Good. Off with young, cover the road. Okay, there is a woman in the trees at the back there. Safe as before, sir. Scare them off. Yeah, unless John Steed shows his face. Then what? Put a bullet in it, that's what. Right through the day, Shield never makes you feel sticky. It just protects you and keeps you dry, feminine, fresh. Wear Shield, and the only thing you show is confidence. Shield gives the confidence that actually shows. In your eyes, in your eyes. So many women tell us that once an Omo user, always an Omo user. Women like Mrs. Clark of East London. This is certainly the one that I've stuck to. And it's all I get now. Yes, Goldwater Omo cleans best. Over a million housewives have proved it. The Avengers. Listen every evening, Monday to Friday, to John Steed and Emma Peel. The Avengers. Brought to you by the makers of Coldwater Omo. Omo.